It is January 2020, and this time of year is a great time for setting a New Year's resolution. Yeah, since uh, we run a cocktail blog, you know, drinking less is probably not going to be on the cards for us. Not really. Uh, but we're going to have a different focus, and it'll be lower calorie, low carb uh, options for January 2020. So today we're going to start with one of the most classic uh, no carb options. This is a cocktail recipe that already has no carbs, so you don't need to swap anything, you don't need to omit anything. A classic highball does not have any carbs in it already, so yeah. it's a safe choice. Yeah, absolutely. So generally a highball is whiskey plus, or a spirit plus generally a spark sparkling blah 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 sparkling mixer um, in this case uh, generally gonna be soda water but you could also add ginger ale which doesn't really go with the no carb thing so we're gonna stick with soda water <laughs> <laughs> so for no carb sparkling mixers you're pretty much stuck with soda water and some of the modern flavored soda waters that don't have sweetener things like LaCroix or knockoff LaCroix those are good choices for today we're sticking with the OG unflavored soda water again not tonic Tonic also has carbs in it, so be mm -hmm. careful about that one. But this one is just seltzer water. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and get started here. We're gonna add two ounces of whiskey because why not? Um, but you can also go down as, as little as you want or as high as you want. It's your own damn whiskey. <laughs> well, that's a good point, though. I mean, the nice thing about distilled spirits is that um, as long as it is a distilled spirit without flavorings added, it's typically pretty low, if not zero carbs. So your vodkas, your whiskeys, your gins, your most rums um, don't have any carbs in them at all. Right. So you could even double it if you wanted to go crazy. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You're a grown-ass grown, grown adult. Um, but the good news is it's not going to bring you more carbs. Absolutely. So uh, the only thing uh, from here on out, let's go ahead and add a ton of ice to this guy. And Would then we'll top that? it off with soda water uh, to finish. There we go. That looks about right. I make a mess when I do the ice. It's bad. And just top it off. And if you want, you can only put a couple ounces in or you fill this thing all the way to the top if you wanted to. Um, but that is about as simple as a mixed drink gets. Um, just a two part yeah. drink, please. And you know what? It's pretty good. Yeah, and uh, this gives you a lot of opportunity to kind of have some creative fun with this. Um, this is just a really simple version of this drink, but you could really have a, a lot of options um, mm -hmm. for this particular drink. So infusing your whiskey or uh, your base spirit mm -hmm. uh, would be an excellent choice. Changing out your base spirit to a whole different drink uh, could definitely work out mm -hmm. in your favor as well. Again, you could swap out your sparkling water for a flavored sparkling water. And then you could also add some flavors in other ways that don't introduce carbs. For example, um, well, this is an infusion. You can add tinctures and bitters. That's mm -hmm. another choice. This one this one is a, a vanilla, uh, just plain old <clears throat> baking vanilla, which we have handmade this one. But it's uh, essentially just vanilla beans infused in a vodka. Yeah. So that's just a very, very high, uh, high, not proof. High, extraction. Thank you. High yeah. extraction vanilla. Um, another choice would be to use um, extracts. Mm -hmm. So what, which one do you have there? Uh, we have almond extract here, uh, which is definitely uh, lower in carbs. And you, the thing about these extracts is they pack a big punch. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to add a ton of this. Like a should. couple of drops is right. all you really need. So no matter what, you can't really add carbs even if you wanted to, if you're only adding a couple of drops. Right. Likewise, um, bitters. Yep. Bitters are essentially a type of extraction, a type of infusion. So mm -hmm. that's another good choice. Here's a couple examples that we have, but you yeah. can kind of go to town, try different things there. None of these things are going to add any carbs to your cocktail, but they will add flavor. They will add depth of flavor. They'll add interest. So that's a good way to make it just a little bit more interesting. And on that note, of course, you can always add a spritz of lemon, lime, or orange zest across mm -hmm. the top. If it's just zest, if you're just squeezing the citrus oil, you're not going to add any carbs there either. Either, and it will add a beautiful aroma. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to just give it a little spritz of, uh, of citrus juice as well, uh, lemon and lime are very, very low in sugars, if any. Um, so you can add a, just a splash of that, and it really adds a whole other dimension to your drink as well. Definitely. And one thing to note uh, before we leave you is that because this cocktail only has two <clears throat> things in it, I would pay attention to the quality of the ingredients you're using. Um, you know, if you're doing something crazy with all sorts of ingredients you might be able to get away with a low quality whiskey but i don't know that this would be a good choice for that and this would be a good one to spend a little bit more get something a little higher quality because there's nothing to hide behind right and um, the flavor really comes 100 percent from that whiskey so if it's not good you're gonna taste it absolutely
So yeah, there it is. So there it is, uh, probably one of the most classic low carb cocktails there are. It probably is also the simplest one that you could possibly make. It's a good choice, it's delicious, and it's a great place to start your year. Absolutely, so cheers everyone. Happy 2020. Cheers.